Hi everyone and thank you for joining me for this oil painting time lapse. I'm adding another painting to my realistic water series. If you'd like to see a much slower color mixing and painting demonstration and how I created this piece, it's available on my Patreon page. To start off, I'm making an underpainting using burnt sienna diluted with Gamzol. This is the pre-sketch that establishes all the basic shapes and values to map out the painting and basically plan where everything will go. It always looks really weird in the beginning. Then I start using all the colors I mixed and put them into their designated places. I also like to leave unmixed colors that are straight from my paint tubes on my palette and use them to slightly alter my mixed colors. Despite how organized and inviting my mixed colors can look, every palette eventually turns to absolute chaos every single time. It's inevitable when you really start to lose yourself in a painting. My first color layer is not meant to be perfect. I don't finalize anything here. It just ends up looking weird and all I'm doing is placing down colors where I feel they need to be and once this first color layer dries, I come back in a few days or in a week and continue the painting. At this point, it's been several days. The first color layer is dry and I'm scraping off the dried paint off my palette. However, the thicker bits of colors that I mixed are still usable. I'm leaving those on the palette. I'm just clearing the area to continue the painting with the second color layer where I really start to refine more detail, fix any mistakes, and build on the painting further. I set a challenge for myself with this piece, and that was to leave it a bit more impressionistic with more visible brush strokes and not smooth everything out meticulously, detail everything like I normally do with my realistic water paintings. However, this was a struggle for me because it's not how I usually paint, and I still ended up doing that on the figure, but I kind of stop myself <laughs> before going too far. Um, I really admire when artists are able to convey more with less, who can make something look correct and realistic with just a few brush strokes. I think it takes a certain ability to accomplish that and I can never seem to make my paintings look that good with such limited time and such few brush strokes. Even when I do try, I feel like they always end up looking really incorrect and messy from the beginning and I have to come back and fix them. It's always a slow building process to get to a point where I'm okay with what the painting looks like to me, but it's definitely something I want to practice more with my work to let go of some of that structure and be more free with my brush strokes and also make them look proper much sooner.
Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this painting time lapse. Be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more painting videos from me. I'm wishing you all a beautiful and inspiring day, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.